In this module, we will be seeing how to convert omega regular expressions to non-deterministic Bushy automata. A short recap of omega regular expressions. Look at this language which consists of a single infinite word made of just a's. This will be denoted as a power omega. Then what was a power omega plus b power omega? This is going to be the set of two words. The first word consists only of a and the second word has only b's. Now this is another example where you have some regular expression followed by only b's. That is words of this regular language followed by only b's. So the expression is going to be a a sigma star a a dot b power omega. Infinite words where b occurs only finitely often, you can see any finite word and after that you should see only a's. So these are some examples of words in this language a plus b star dot a power omega. Finally, infinite words where b occurs infinitely often. So you see any number of a's and then you should see a b. This one, we put it under this omega operator. So this will tell us that b will occur infinitely often. In general, an omega regular expression looks like this. E1, E2, En, F1 to F1, F1 to Fn are regular expressions over languages of finite words. Given these, you can form an omega regular expression like this. E1 dot F1 power omega plus E2 dot F2 power omega plus so on till En dot Fn power omega. Okay, and here the definition of L of F power omega, the language represented by F power omega as we know is going to be the set of all words w1, w2, w3 and so on such that each wi is an L of F. L of F. Essentially you take some word in F, concatenate it with some word in F, concatenate it with some word in F and so on. So this is going to be the generic form of an omega regular expression. Here are some more examples. A plus B per omega is the set of all infinite words. A dot A plus B per omega. When it is clear, we will just remove the dot. So this is A is a regular expression. A plus B is a regular expression. So we know that A dot A plus B per omega is another regular omega regular expression. And this is going to be the set of all infinite words starting with an A. What about this A plus B C plus C? This is going to be the set of all words where every B is immediately followed by a C. Here again we have some regular expression A plus B star C followed by A plus B par omega. So this is going to be the set of all words with a single occurrence of C. Finally, A plus B star C whole power omega, this is the set of all words where C occurs infinitely often. So as I said before, the goal of this module is to convert a given omega regular expression to an NB. What do we mean? An omega regular expression defines some language. What we want to do is that we want to get a non-deterministic Bushy automaton for that same language. So how are we going to proceed? We will proceed in three steps. Firstly, we will see that given a regular expression u, we can form a non-deterministic Bushy automaton for the omega regular expression u par omega. So for example, if you are given f1, which is a regular expression, we can 
construct the non-deterministic Gushi automaton corresponding to the language f1 power omega. Okay. Secondly, we will see that if we have a Bushi automaton for this and we have this regular expression E1, we will be able to construct a Bushi automaton for this concatenated omega regular expression. Given a Bushi automaton for f power, f1 power omega and a regular expression for E1, we can get the non-deterministic Bushi automaton for E1 dot f1 power omega. Similarly, we can get a non-deterministic Gushi automaton for E2 dot f2 power omega. Similarly, we can get it for each n. E n dot f n power omega will be represented by a Gushi automaton. Then finally, we know that the union of Gushi automata is going to accept the union of each of the languages. That means we had seen that to form the Bushi automaton for the union, just take the disjoint union of each of these Bushi automata. So let's go step by step. The first part is given a regular expression u, find the non-deterministic Bushi automaton for u par omega. Recall that u power omega is the set of all words formed by taking some word in u, concatenated with some word in u, concatenated with some word in u and so on. This is how you form infinite words in u power omega. Let us now see a way of converting the regular expression u to a non-deterministic Vichy automaton for this. Note that we had mentioned Regular expressions are equivalent to NFAs, non-deterministic finite automata. So for every regular expression, you can assume that there is an NFA. So what we will be doing is that from the NFA of U, we will build the NBA for U par omega. Let us start with an example. Suppose this is an NFA for some u. What does this NFA accept? This accepts a, a b a, a b a b a and so on. It accepts words of the form a b a star. Okay. So this is characterizing a language over finite words. Now to get to u power omega, the first step would be this. Take this NFA, add a new state q0 prime and make this initial and make the original initial state as a normal state. Remove the initial thing there. So this is no longer an initial state. This is going to be the only initial state. Secondly, you look at all transitions out of Q0. There is only one transition. Put such a transition from Q0 prime. So from Q0 on an A, you could go to Q1. Mimic that from Q0 prime. Q0 prime on an A goes to Q1. So this will give us an NFA. What is going to be the language of this NFA? It's going to be the same. A, A, B, A, A, B, A, B, A and so on. So such an NFA will be called a standardized NFA. I hope this step is clear. We have not done much. We have just converted this NFA for you into some other NFA which accepts the same language. Now, we want to get a Bushi automaton for u power omega. Let us see how to do it. So this is my NFA. You look at all incoming transitions to the accepting state. There are two incoming transitions, one from Q0 and one from Q0 prime. What we do is that for every incoming transition to Q1, 
put a corresponding incoming transition to Q0 prime. So for Q0 on A going to Q1, add Q0 on an A going to Q0 prime. Similarly for Q0 prime on an A going to Q1, add a transition Q0 prime on an A going to Q0 prime again. And then remove this to be an accepting state, just make Q0 prime to be the accepting state. So let me repeat the construction and we will then see what this is giving us. First step, make it into a standardized NFA. Add one extra state, make it the only initial state. For every transition out of the previous initial state, add the same transition from Q0 prime. The language is going to be the same and now here what you do, we will be getting a Gushi automaton. To get to this Gushi automaton, you look at all the incoming transitions to the accepting state and then add a corresponding transition to Q0 prime. So Q0 on an A goes to Q1. So add Q0 on an A goes to Q0 prime. Q0 prime on an A goes to Q1. So add Q0 prime on an A goes to Q0 prime again and make Q0 prime as the only accepting state. We claim that this is going to be the NBA for U bar omega. Look at this as a Bushi automaton. You start from Q0 prime. So what are the words that it accepts? It accepts all words that visit Q0 prime infinitely often. Let us see how you can visit Q0 prime infinitely often. You start from Q0 prime. Suppose you do this A, B, A. You have visited Q0 prime. Now look at the word A, B, A. If you see the NFA, you have a path from A, B, A. The word A, B, A belongs to you. It was this transition that we added here. So instead of going to the accepting state, it went to Q0 prime. Once it is in Q0 prime, suppose it takes the transition A. It comes back to Q0 prime. This corresponds to Q0 prime on an A going to Q1. So the word A belongs to you as well. Suppose you take yet another word from Q0 prime, A, B, A, B, A. You know that A, B, A, B, A belongs to you. So if you look at the run which visits Q0 prime infinitely often, if you look at two consecutive occurrences of Q0 prime, you will see that the word in between two consecutive occurrences of Q0 prime will be a word of you. So, since Q0 prime occurs infinitely often, in between two consecutive Q0 primes, you have use, I mean you have words in you. So, this infinite word will be a word in u power omega. Okay? Let me look at another word. A a, B, A, B, A, B, A. So far we have taken two words from you. Then suppose you take one more word, A from you, then A, B, A, there is going to be another word in you and so on. So essentially what we have done is that we start reading from Q0 prime. So it's going to be here. And then whenever there is a possibility of going to this accepting state Q1 here of the NFA, we add the possibility of going to Q0 prime and make Q0 prime the only accepting state. So this has to be visited infinitely often. And each time you do that, you are actually reading a word in U in chunks. So you read a word in U and then once again you read a word in U and once again you read a word in U and so on. So this will give us the non-deterministic Gushi automaton for U bar omega. Let us see one more example. It's the similar automaton, just that we have made the initial state to be the final state as well. 
First step is to standardize this NFA. You add a new state Q0 prime. Okay. For every transition out of this, add a transition here. Okay, it's done. And remove this to be the initial state. You will get a standardized NFA. You will note that the only difference in the language here is epsilon. But for u power omega, we do not need epsilon, so this is fine. I mean, u power omega is the same as u minus epsilon power omega. So doing this standardization will just remove epsilon from the language. Now you have a standardized NFA for u minus epsilon. Let us now get the NBA for u power omega. It's going to be the same, just that you look at all incoming transitions to the accepting state. There is only one incoming transition. Now add the transition to Q0 prime. That is what is done here. And make Q0 prime as the unique accepting state. Now look at runs of this automaton that visit Q0 prime infinitely often. A, B, A, B is going to be a word here. A, B, A, B. Similarly, A, B is once again a word in this u. So each time you start from q0 prime and come back to q0 prime, you would have read a word in u. So this is going to be the NBA for u power omega. Note that even if you remove epsilon from u, you will still get the same u power omega. Just follow the steps, standardize the NFA by adding a new initial state. And from this new initial state, add transitions like this. For every transition out of the original initial state, add this transition. And now once you have the standardized NFA, get the NBA by looking at all incoming transitions to the accepting state. And for every such incoming transition, add the transition to Q0 prime and make Q0 prime the accepting state. One more example, let us look at an NFA. So this accepts words like ABA, ACA, ABACA and so on. Let us now build the Bushi automaton for u power omega as usual. So step one would be to standardize this u. Add Q0 prime, make it initial. There are two transitions out of Q0. So from Q0 prime on an A, you go to Q1. From Q0 prime on an A, you can also go to Q2. So this is the standardized NFA. Now we need to build the Bushi automaton. Here is the Bushi automaton. Note that there are multiple accepting states here. For Q1, there are two incoming transitions, Q0 to Q1, Q0 prime to Q1. So you should add Q0 to Q0 prime corresponding to this and Q0 prime to Q0 prime corresponding to this. Similarly, on Q2, there are two incoming transitions. So from Q0 on an A, you go to Q2, you have to add Q0 on an A goes to Q0 prime that is already there. Similarly, Q0 prime on an A goes to Q2. So you have to add Q0 prime on an A goes to Q0 prime that is also there. The next step is to make this one as the accepting state. Now look at runs here that visit Q0 prime infinitely often. A, B, A. This is a word here. A, B, A. So that will be a word in U. Next time you visit Q0 prime, say for example this, you take this transition, but you know that A also belongs to U. Suppose you do this, A, 
सी ए सी ए बी ए वी नो दैट ए सी ए सी ए बी ए बिलोंग्स टू यू सो दिस ड्यूशी अटोमेटन वुड इंडीड बी द नॉन डिटर्मिस्टिक ड्यूशी अटोमेटन फॉर यू पर ओमेगा essentially whenever we reach an accepting state here we make a transition here so that q not prime when it comes back to q not prime would have actually been a word accepted by the standardized mfa and since this is a dushi automaton a word is accepted if q not prime is seen infinitely often so in between any two conjugative u not uh, q not primes we would be reading some word of you let me give the overall picture of this construction you have an nfa so this is an nfa there are many other states which are not shown it could in general have multiple initial states multiple final states first step would be to standardize this nfa what would you do you will add a new initial state and for every transition out of the original initial state you will put a transition from here so for example from here to here there was a b so we added a b from here to here similarly from here to here there was an a here this was an initial state so from here to here you will add an a this is the standardized nfa for you how do you get the gushi automaton for it for u per omega you look at all incoming transitions to accepting states and for every such incoming transition add a transition to q not prime so this was q not prime according to the previous examples and again from this transition on an a you go here so you add a transition to this and make this to be the only accepting state the claim is that from this if you read something and come back here that word would have been accepted by this nfa and since you would be doing this infinitely often this will be a word in u per omega so recall our goal was to find nba for omega regular expressions we are done with the first step so we wanted given a regular expression we know how to get the nba for that regular expression power omega so this was part 1 a given regular expression u find nba for u per omega this is done part 2 would be what given a regular expression or an nfa for e1 and the nba for this how do we form the nba for the concatenation you have to read some word in e1 and then start reading some word in this nba so how do we do that given a regular expression u and an nba for v find nba for u dot v this is going to be our next step we can assume that instead of regular expression we are given the nfa for u so let's see an example so this is an nfa for a sigma star a and this is an nba which accepts words where b occurs infinitely often so this is a star b part of omega now we want the automaton for the omega regular expression given by a sigma star a dot a star b part of omega so you have to be reading some word in this regular expression and then jump to start reading this infinite word so how do we translate this idea you look at accepting states here you look at all incoming transitions to an accepting state so instead of going here what you do is you jump to p not and p not is no longer an initial state so you read a you read any number of a b's and then on an a you jump to p not and once you are here you can read a word which is restricted to this atomic because once you reach here you cannot go back here 
Now, when you read some word which visits B, uh, P1 infinitely often, it will, it will be a word where B occurs infinitely often. So, this entire thing would be an NBA which accepts A sigma star A dot A star B par omega. Let us see one more example. Suppose this is the NFA corresponding to this regular expression A sigma star plus sigma star B. This is the same omega regular expression. This is the Gishi automaton for that. Now we want a Gishi automaton for the omega regular expression given by A sigma star plus sigma star B dot A star B par omega. So what you would do? You look at incoming transitions to accepting states. Instead of going to the accepting state, you will jump to P1. So our required automaton would be like this. Note that at Q1, there are two incoming transitions. So from Q0 on an A, you can also go here. And from Q1 on an AB, you can go here. At Q3, there is only one incoming transition, which is from Q2. So you can read any number of ABs and at some point of time, you jump here on a B. And once you are here, there is no way of going back here. So this just says that you start reading some word in this language. And when you are about to finish reading it, that is when you are just about to go to the accepting state, instead of staying here, you jump to this omega language. In the sense, you jump to the automaton for this omega part. So this is going to be the composite automaton for this expression. So in general, suppose we have the NFA for U and the NBA for V, what we would do is, we would first remove this to be our initial states of V and these to be the accepting states. So this was an accepting state for U and these were initial states for V. We first take them off and then for every transition into the accepting state, we add the transition that goes to the initial state of V. Similarly here, this was going into an accepting state. Now you make it go to the initial state of V and this will be one whole Bushy automaton for u dot v. So, in the quest for getting an NBA for omega regular expressions, we have done two things. We know how to construct the NBA for f1 power omega. We also know how to construct the NBA for e1 dot f1 power omega. Similarly, we know how to construct NBAs for each of these. Okay, now what we need to do is that we need to find an NBA for u plus v. Once we have this, we are done. But we have already seen this. We know that the disjoint union of these two NBA will give us the NBA for the language consisting of the union of the individual languages. So we have essentially seen this. We know how to construct NBAs for each of these and once we have this, the disjoint union of all of these will be the NBA for the required omega regular expression. Hence, we can say that we know how to solve this theorem, prove this theorem. Every omega regular expression can be converted to an equivalent non-deterministic Dushi automaton in the sense that the language of this omega regular expression will be the same as the language of this NB. So now that we have this, in the next units we will see how to check emptiness of a, a Dushi automaton 
and this will be useful as we saw to check omega regular properties on transition systems.